Hey y'all, what's up? Coach here again. And if you really want to do something, y'all, if you really want to grab the bull by the horns, as they say, you either going to have to make it, create it, find it, or take it. And, I'm, and I, this was heavy on my mind. I was talking to a young lady. You know, I still do a little bit of training and coaching on the side. One of the reasons is because it's still my passion to help people train and, you know, get they, get, 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 get their hands ready and get their feet. Uh, their foot coordination and get their bodies tight and their minds right. But I was talking to her, and you know how people have thousands of excuses, y'all, especially when it's something they need to do. And you know, I, of course, I've, I've been a culprit of that myself um, in days past. But she had a thousand excuses on why she couldn't find the time to work out. And people have always have a thousand excuses. And more often than not, you usually more women do. But nowadays, I'll just say everybody. Because the culture out here is wild now. But she had a thousand and one excuses. I work 10 hours. As soon as I get off, I gotta pick up the kids. I gotta make dinner. Then I gotta go to the washer and dryer. We don't own a washer and dryer. Then when I get home, I gotta go back to sleep because I gotta get up. Early. All right, all right, all right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And, I, and of course, you know, I said, hey, boo, uh, um, I don't wanna say her name. I explained it to her softly, you know, gently. I said, hey, uh, boo, if you really want to, you know, achieve your goals with this, uh, she, she just wanted to lose weight. She wasn't trying to get her hands up or she just wanted to lose weight, get her body tight, of course, you know, for the summer and all that good stuff. I said, you're going to have to find or make the time. No, but coach, you know, I got when I'm at work. I said, well, put it simply, I told her two things she's going to have to do. If she's not going to cancel all that stuff, if she's not going to cancel her hair appointment, if she, when she's taking her her kids and dropping them off at a at a grandma's house to to go see Bobby and Darius and all them, if she's not going to do that, then I told her she's either going to have to a work out at work, or b start fasting, start going on some type of daily or weekly fast, and instead of eating the usual shit you eat for breakfast and lunch and dinner, you have to substitute it out with water and pineapples, you know, stuff that has a lot of water in it and it's real light. So I know that used to help us, that used to help us cut a lot of weight back in the day, y'all. Let's say I had to lose seven pounds before two or three days before a fight. A lot of us used to do this. We would get a whole bunch of Gatorade and fruits and all those little fruit snack bars, those little granola bars packed with fiber and protein. And you think, we were some damn hamsters or gerbils the way we used to eat on them oats and grains and then slug it down with Gatorades and water and then eat those big cans of pineapples. But it was really easy to cut weight and to tone and to burn when you ate light and ate, how can I say, water-filled content-like foods. It, it, was, it was real easy. And plus it nourished your body, you know, with fruits and oats and things like that. But I told her, I said, hey, at, 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 work, at your lunch break, or at your 15 minute breaks, you're gonna to have to go out to your courtyard or to your gym if your job have a gym or to the corner of the office or down the hall where the bathroom is and you're gonna to have to do some type of exercise, some type of something. Wall push-ups, squats, or calf raise, something. Planks, and I've done this before. I wasn't telling it from a lack of experience. I've had to do this before when I couldn't find time. I said, if you're not gonna do that, you're gonna to have to curb what you eat with a with a tenacity you're gonna have to cut out hamburgers and um and starbucks even though they got those coffees they fill with sugar and plus they cost a whole hell of a lot of money whatever you're doing at lunch curb it and go to waters and fruits or waters and fruit bars or water and granola bars always throw the water in there and of course she was like okay okay so at the moment i'm writing her out a plan to help her implement it but even though I know if I'm not there, it's going to be hard. You know, some people need to be pushed and told and have a foot in their ass to get in gear to do stuff. But I'm going to write this plan out and I'm, you know, check on her daily, weekly, blah, 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 yakety smack. And I hope she implements it because uh, I don't think she's going to, um, I don't, I don't, I don't think she's going to find it in to start to work out, you know, take that initiative. But I do think she's going to try hard on the, on the diet regimen thing, on the, on the eating regimen. And it made me think, man. And y'all know, when you don't have time, it seems like you have no time to do nothing. You, you want to start your own business. You want to um, lose weight. You want to tone up. You want to bench press 
400 pounds, whatever you, your goals are. You want to build a, um, a tree house, whatever you want to do. You seem like you don't have time. Think about those fighters, y'all, where it's, all the sticks were checked, stacked against them. And they created that victory. They, they pulled it. They pulled it out of themselves. They 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 made it. They made it happen, like in Ali versus uh, Foreman, the old Ali versus the young ferocious Foreman, like in uh, Chavez Senior versus Meldrick Taylor, like in um, Silver versus Sonnen. One, you know what I mean, like he pulled that victory out of nowhere, y'all. That's one of my favorite victories by Silver too. Well, who, who else? Um, uh, Sugar Ray Robinson versus Randy Turpin too. No, there's one more round, bro. One more round. That's about to stop the fight over the bad cut. Sugar Ray pulled it out of nowhere. And the next round got the KO. Who else? Oh, and then recently for females, Misha Tate versus Holly Holm. Pulled, pulled it out, y'all. I mean, just took her hand and punched through the earth down to the core and yanked out lava and got the victory. So if you want to do something such as lose weight, you're going to have to, and, and, and you'll be surprised, y'all. And this is what I've learned from my own experiences. And um, and, I, and I know Infinity has, and I know especially Talib, man. That dude's the truth. That deep breathing really gets you right. But uh, when you start doing, um, let's say you got a job, we you got your own business. When you start doing the things that you need to be doing, creating that time on your job or at your luncheons or at galas or wherever the hell y'all be at. When you start doing it and creating the time right then and there. No matter if you got to multitask and do three things at one time, you'll be surprised how the opportunity and the time starts to come open and available for you to work on your arts or your businesses or whatever y'all working on. So it's there, y'all. Just pull it out. Stay diligent. We love bolsing. We out.